Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. In the last podcast on text animators, I talked about using multiple animators for animating different properties at different times. But in today's podcast, I'll show you another reason to use a separate animator, and I'll show you some other tips to help get your text animation into shape. If you haven't watched the previous podcast on text animators or the earlier one on per-character 3D text animation, you may be a little lost here. Apologies for that, but maybe you should have done your homework before showing up to class. Eh, 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 don't tell me your dog ate your iPod. Just go back and watch those and then come back here. And if you're going to eat that candy you're holding, you'll need to bring enough to share it with the rest of the Creative Cow class. Okay, for the rest of you teacher's pets who've been following along, let's get into it. So here I have some text that I've animated using a rotation animator. I've set it to rotate one full rotation, or 360 degrees. One of the problems I'm seeing here is that the text is rotating one way, and as the text animator endpoint moves past a text character, it rotates back the other way. I guess that's okay if that's what you want, but frankly, how often are you going to use that? And by default, this is the way text animators work, so a lot of users see this and give up. But we can fix this. The solution to this is to go into the range selector and to twirl down the advanced settings and change the shape to ramp down, which in this case sets things up so that as the offset causes the text to animate, it does it in such a way that it doesn't return to its start value. As I scroll through time, you can see that in this animation, each character is coming all the way around and stopping, but only because my animation is set to rotate 360 degrees, or one full rotation. If I set the animator's rotation value to something like 90 degrees, then you'd see each letter stop at 90 degrees as the offset value moves the animator's in and out points along the text. You should definitely play with some of the other shapes to see what they can do to your text animation, but for now I'm moving on. Another problem I'm seeing is that the text is rotating around the bottom of each character. But I want the text to rotate around the center of each character and not the bottom. And you know what? The solution is pretty simple. It involves adding another text animator. So in the timeline, with my text layer selected, I'll choose the Animate button, and from the Flyout menu, I'll choose Anchor Point. A new text animator is added with an Anchor Point property. The anchor point is the central point of a layer, meaning it's the point from which it rotates and scales. Changing the anchor point in this case will change the pivot point for each character. So if I raise the anchor point value a bunch and then let the rotation animation go, as you can see, the arc of rotation becomes quite dramatic. But we don't need anything quite that intense, so I'll lower this down until my text animator's anchor point, that's these little crosshairs, are settled right in the middle of my text. In this case, it's at about negative 14. If you had more than one row of text, you'd still need the anchor point to settle in the middle of the top row. A quick RAM preview, and I can see my text rotating around the center of each character. Of course, the side effect of doing this is that your text appears to move down on the y-axis due to the shift in anchor point. To counter this, you can do one of two things. Either grab hold of the layer and move it, which may not be an option if you already have position keyframes, or, you can just set the layer's actual anchor point to the opposite value of your animator's anchor point. I'll hit A to reveal the anchor point, and I'll set it to 14, which shifts the layer back to its original visual position. And for the record, the layer's anchor point has no effect on the animator's anchor point, at least none that I can detect. Finally, another thing that I'd love to fix in this animation is that I'd like the text to ease in and out of the rotation. Right now it starts and stops pretty abruptly. To change this, I have to go into the Rotation Animator's Range Selector, and then into the Advanced Twirl Down, and then I'll set the Ease High and Ease Low values each to 33.33%. This is very similar to adding Easy Ease keyframes to normal rotation animation, but we're doing it on a per character level. A quick RAM preview, and I can see a much smoother rotation animation. Okay, that's it. Hopefully this will help you in the work that you do. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for creativecow.net.